Hi, everybody. So, here we go, and this is now going to be the beginning of the final assembly for the horizontal stabilizer. Here I am removing all of the Clecos and lifting the front spar assembly out of the skins. I am then finishing up uh, priming all of the nose ribs and we'll be clicking no clicoing what clicoing and riveting those into the skins here Now, putting putting the uh, horizontal stabilizer together in the uh, final assembly was definitely uh, the biggest challenge to date. Uh, you're talking about a lot of rivets, and only those around the edges of the skins actually ever get to be squeezed. Everything else has to be bucking bar and rivet gun. And certainly in a couple places where the stringers meet the modified uh, inner ribs and the skin I definitely put a smiley or two I may have overbucked but I had an AP uh, had my A and P friend look at it and he said that there was uh, no problem with it all and you know it was going to get bonded out anyway which I'm pretty sure is going to wind up being the name of this plane I'll just call it El Bondo So now I'm scuffing up all the skins uh, for priming. And we had talked in a previous video about how you want to uh, prime then dimple. Well, this is exactly why you prime then dimple. Remember I told you that there was a funny pattern on the uh, table about this? Here it is. That is what happens when you uh, scuff up previously dimpled material. It leaves basically an exact pattern. That's all Scotch Bright uh, pad dust. Birdie, birdie, burr, scuff, scuff, scuff. So as we come up to the finalizing, final scuffing of the last skin, take a quick peek at what that thing does to Scotch Bright pads. I mean, that is some Swiss cheese. Okay, so here we go. So, clicoing and then riveting in these little nose ribs. 
certainly is an interesting little job. Like I said, I happen to just have the perfectly shaped bucking bar for this. Uh, I mean, it's it's kismet. I, I, it was as if it, it, it was as though this was meant to happen. Uh, it's the perfect size to fit right inside of a leading edge of any control surface. Uh, there's no sharp edges to to accidentally dent your skins and you know god forbid you drop something it doesn't you know mar the the skins up which is nice of course it is also five pounds and uh, very damn heavy in fact uh, the very front ribs I actually just wind up sitting the bar down on its own weight and you have to push back against the bar with the rivet so that uh, it, it remains flush but it works great so anyway we're gonna uh, finish up these ribs and then we're going to uh, keep going with the rest of the horizontal stabilizer so season